Now he's kind of looking, going, huh, now he's going to come back and attack me. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. The point of this video is not for you to do what I do in the video. It's not a how-to video. That's not the intent. That's not the purpose of why I did the video so that you could look at it and go, well, he did it, I can do it. That's not the point of the video. I have 40 years experience dealing with venomous snakes, 40 plus years, and I'm not trying to be a hot dog, a hot shot. I'm not trying to be sensational in this video whatsoever. The whole point of the video, the whole point, just to show you that rattlesnakes aren't that bad. They're just not, they get a bad rap. A lot of videos out there, they're up there like this, they're ready to mm, kick your butt, and they're not. They're not out to get you. So that's the whole point of the video. It's not for you to do what I'm doing. It's for me to show you that rattlesnakes are sweet. They're loving and they're kind and gentle. That, that's what the whole thing is. So if you like the video, hit the like button. You know, If you want to subscribe because you dig my stuff, do that. Leave a comment and we'll talk. We'll do lunch. Promise. All right, so we've got up here. I'm going to put it at how many feet, you think? Three feet? Three, three and a half. So three and a half foot diamond back. And people ask me all the time, right? They go, man, you know, how do you come up on these? Why don't they rattle? You know, why isn't this thing going to coil up and just, you know, try to, you know, strike at you? Well, right now I'm probably, I'm going to put it at three to, well, probably five feet away. And once I get in the shadows, but watch how I approach this diamond back. And again, big snake, right? So I'm just being slow so I can see his head. He's starting to look at me and he's turning his head just a little bit. Pretty big diamond back. So now I'm probably two and a half feet away from this diamond back. Now he stops and I stop, right? He can probably hear my voice. Now he's kind of looking, going, huh? Now he's gonna come back and attack me. No, he's not, I'm kidding. So if I just stay chill, right? He's probably hearing my voice and going, huh? So I'm staying chill. He probably sees the light, he probably hears my voice. I'm still chill, I'm probably two feet away from him. And all he's doing is just getting across the road, right? So I'm getting closer. I'm just following him across the road, right? So now I'm gonna say I'm probably, I don't know, I could probably reach out and touch his tail if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. But my point is, is that, you know, people ask me, well, don't they always just, you know, coil up and get in the S position and, you know, want to strike you? And no, they don't. Well, I spooked him a little bit, right? Because he's going, man, what the heck? But again, if I just chill. So I'm going to back up because he's kind of realizing there's somebody here. But now I just give him some space, right? So we want him to go the other way. So we're just gonna back up and just let him do his thing. Cause he probably saw my light and he hears my voice and he's going, what's going on? But he's looking for something. He's thinking, man, something's out there. But because I backed off, right? He didn't rattle. And he's just trying to get across the, uh, the path that we're on right now. So I'm not gonna really bug him. You want a picture or anything? Huh. I just didn't want him to flip back. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to show people that, that again, it's how you approach these things. And I don't blame him for kind of, you know, getting a little tweaky there. So he's almost off the path at this point. But I guess my point is, is that if you see a rattlesnake that's all tweaked out, it's because somebody's probably gotten in their face. So I'm kind of trying to stay out of his vision. Now he's probably freaking a little bit because he sees his shadow or, you know, he sees the light. So we'll just let him get off. But my point, obvious, it's how you approach these things. So if you're nice and chill, there's no reason for him to get all defensive. So there you go. Western Diamondback. Just chilling out, crossing the road. All right, our hiking partner tonight is a tiger rattlesnake. Their head is a lot smaller than their body. But look at all those rattles, man. So tiger rattlesnakes are pretty good venom. Um, but again, if you just let them be, 
You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't out to get me. He's just chilling. Looking for a meal or whatever. Cool. Had some cool hiking partners. Later, dude. It's another one of these dang rattlesnakes out to get me. This is a black tail rattlesnake. Again, they go the wrong way when they're chasing me. And I don't get why, but I'm going to put this guy at probably three feet long. See why they call them black tails, huh? Pretty snake right there. That's a pretty snake. So here's the point of the video. The whole point of the video is for me to show you the rattlesnakes aren't as bad as people are making them out to be. And to show you that when you're trying to record, the wind's going to come up. And it hasn't been coming up pretty much the whole time I've been doing this until now. Hey, what's going on? Quick intro to the video you're about to see. Right out of the gate, it's not a how-to video. It's a military video with military planes in the background.